Time now for your latest weather forecast. Do a backflip! Oh! She did it! That was sick. One in a million, one in a million, one in a million, one in a million. Coming up to me, cause I'm just the kind of flower that's stinging in my beat. Japanese traditional food like onigiris, tamagoyaki, and miso soup. You probably don't know what that is yet, but you probably know what miso soup is. But yeah, we're just gonna cook some traditional Japanese stuff and have a yummy breakfast. <laughs> so right now, Erin is cutting the leek. It's yeah. for miso soup and also tamagoyaki. But I'm gonna grab some rice for the musubi or onigiri, whatever you call it. <laughs> Now we add a little bit of sugar just to help the sweetness. So we added six eggs, add dashi with water. We put salt now we need sugar. After we add the sugar, we're adding a little bit, soy sauce. Little, little. I like a lot in it. Okay, and then the mix. All right, and then that's it. Erin, you're gonna do it. Yeah, 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 that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. That's it. Erin. <laughs> okay, and then one more. Next up we have miso soup. We just added the water first and we're gonna put dashi in again. See we use this a lot in Japan, so we're gonna use it. This is Napa cabbage and it's really good. It's very like Yeah, we say we call it hakusai in Japanese and it's super crunchy and just it's really good. So this is tofu. Um, you guys probably already know what it is, but we're gonna put it in the miso soup and it's gonna be really good. <laughs> it smells weird, but the taste goes away. Whoa. It doesn't taste fishy. That's so satisfying, it's so soft. So next we're gonna do hakusai. We're gonna add some in. Sorry. So next we're making tuna mayo for the onigiri while the soup is getting ready. Um, so we have some tuna, mayo, and ichimi, it's a, some chili. The tuna mayo bowl and we're about to mix it, get all the spice, mayo, and tuna mixed together. It's gonna taste really It makes really it good. way better with the ichimi. So next up, we put everything in, last but not least, we have wakame, seaweed, and we gotta turn off the heat, cause, we have it. oh wait, it's the other way. Yeah, so we're taking it off, and then we only put, we don't put that much in, cause it's gonna be 10 times the size, two times? 10 times more. I like, I like lots of seaweed. You can try to cover it. Um, 
So we got our food. We're still waiting for our nodi, but this is basically it. And it's really good. It's my favorite. Let's see. Yeah, this is taco on. We also added this. This is like pickle, I think. It's pickle, and it's really good. It's really crunchy. It smells very good. <laughs> okay. uh, right now, we are going to lower trestles, and yeah. Really fun. We're meeting Sawyer and Limblatt there as well. We're getting all packed because we're gonna go skating after this. It's gonna be a fun night. Okay, we're here at Lower Trestles, the most iconic wave in Southern California, and we're gonna go rip. <laughs>
subscribe turn on the post notification hopefully post every week <laughs> she watches too much youtube <laughs> videos <laughs> okay well yeah that's it thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye